The maker is at the top of Cricut's line of cutting machines. It uses ultra-precise stepper motors to guide the cutting tools. I have to admit that I was really surprised at how accurate this machine is at this price point. These are just some of the tools that you can get that make this machine so versatile. First is the fine knife tool that cuts vinyls and we found it will cut most shrink coverings for airplanes. Next is a deep knife tool for materials like poster board, balsa, and some light ply. Next is a scoring tool that makes very precise crease lines for folding cards. And we have a rotary cutting tool for cutting fabrics. I believe there are more cutting tools, but these more than cover my needs for now anyway. Installing the tools can't be much easier. We just slip them into place, close the little latch, and lock them down. And that's all there is to it. The Cricut cutting machines are very popular in the industry, and there's a bunch of different materials you can get to use with them. There's also a bunch of hand tools designed for use with the maker that make this a lot easier to do. They're not real cheap, but they're well-designed, well-made tools that are easy to use. We create all the designs using a free online design tool from Cricut. This software is very easy to use and has a very small learning curve. You get the option to save your work privately or to make it public so others can use the designs. There's also a bunch of pre-made elements that you can use to enhance your designs. These are some of the projects that I've saved since I started using the Maker. I'm making a wing bag for the Hangar 9 Ultra Stick and need to add some lettering to it. Being able to save my designs means that all my lettering will be very consistent. I can change the design any way I need or I can just send it for cutting. Because I'll be cutting iron on vinyl, we have to reverse this design for cutting. And that's just a one click deal. Next we have to tell the machine what kind of material we're using. And as I said, we're using iron on, so we click that. And that brings up this screen that tells us what tool we need for cutting it. To cut the material, we need to apply them to these cutting mats that are designed for the various different materials we can use. After cutting the vinyl to the needed size, we apply it to the cutting mat. This is iron-on vinyl, so it goes shiny side down. Cutting mats have a reusable adhesive, so we just smooth the piece down on the cutting mat. I use the roller to make sure that I've got it nice and flat on the cutting mat. This vinyl also has that protective sheet on the back that we have to peel off before we put it in the machine. Next, we put it in the machine and press the flashing button that starts the feed. Next, the other button starts flashing, and when we push that, the machine senses the tool and the materials and begins the cutting. After that, we just sit back and watch. The machine handles everything itself. When I first started using Maker, I was pretty sure that there's no way that this little knife was connecting all the cuts it was making. But it turns out that the machine knows exactly what it's doing. When the machine's done cutting, we remove the mat and then peel off the vinyl. Next, we have to weed the vinyl or remove the unused portions of the vinyl. This is the Cricut Bright Pad, and it makes weeding this vinyl a whole bunch easier. It's an LED backlit screen, and you can control how bright it is. This is much harder to see on camera than it is in person. That backlighting makes it easy to see the fine cuts and where you want to weed this material. First, we have to pick up a corner so we can start peeling off the material that's not used for the lettering. This process is rather easy, you just have to get used to doing it. It takes me less than half of the time to do now as it did when I first started with this machine. When we're finished removing the background vinyl, there's still some in the middle of some of the hollow letters. Here again, the light table makes seeing those little cut lines a lot easier so we can pick the material out of the middle of the letters without damaging the letters. Then I turn it over and look at it from the right side just to be sure that I've got all the little pieces taken out. Now I can lay the design on the wing bag and just make sure that I have it where I want it. There's just enough tack on the back of this clear plastic that it holds the design in place. The last piece of the Cricut family is your Easy Press. This is really a high-tech, purpose-designed iron. It makes applying heat transfer material way easier. The Easy Press lets us dial in the exact temperature and time needed to apply heat transfer material properly. Cricut has a chart that tells us exactly what to program in. The underside of the Easy Press has a 10 inch square slick surface that makes applying the heat evenly very easy. After applying that heat for the recommended time, we let the material cool off completely. Then we carefully remove the plastic covering and we're done. Follow the directions and you can come up with some very professional looking results. And stay tuned because in the future we're going to look at other ways we can use the Cricut Maker.